Hi, I'm Todd Ale. Today I'm going to talk about the balance point of the bow and about letting the instrument support some of the weight of the bow so that your hand, your right hand, can stay relaxed and about relaxing the fingers, okay, especially when you lift the bow off the string and then set it back down. So first of all, the balance point you may already know is the point in the bow where the bow wants to balance on your finger. Let's see if you can see this. If I show you that this side is very short, and this side is very long, and then set it on my finger, right at the balance point, it will stay in one place. Again, I'm going to show you the length of the stick at this end versus the length of the stick at this end. It's because of the weight, the winding, the frog, the metal on the adjusting screw. Now, take the bow from the balance point, hold your violin up parallel to the floor. You may have to lean to the left a little bit. Lean the hair towards you, okay? Now set the bow in the balance point and let the instrument hold the weight of the bow. This demonstrates that the bow can be supported entirely by the instrument. Now we work so hard to produce a large sound and there's always the danger that you're going to be squeezing and pressing with your bow hand. So what I'd like you to do is get your bow hand, okay? Set your bow in the balance point and totally release the tension of the fingers. Tap them. You might do this, this, this. So there's no squeezing. Make sure your thumb is curved as I showed in the bow hold. All right, you feel the relaxation? Now I want you to take your hand and lift the bow off the string. Do you immediately feel the weight in the pinky? One of my teachers called the pinky the lifting finger. You feel the weight through here. As soon as you set the bow down, you can relax. If you hold too much tension after you set back down, try a couple things. Hold it up, breathe out as you set the bow down. Release the tension as you breathe out. Then, if there's still tension, again, tap. Remember I taught pinky push-ups? Tap or rock the bow. Rock the bow. So that then you're totally relaxed. Now, um, apply the amount of needed weight into the index finger and the thumb will go upwards. As the first finger goes down, the, the thumb goes up. Apply the amount of needed weight to produce a nice healthy tone but still you're relaxed with the pinky, right? Until you lift the bow off the string. Your lifting finger is needed at that point. Then you set it back down. Relax. Remember that. The instrument supports the weight of the bow. You control how much volume or weight you're going to apply and no more. So as soon as you've gone to the point where you need it to be for the volume or sound you want to produce, you know that's enough. Okay? And you keep practicing maybe tapping your fingers so that you are not squeezing the bow hand. It's all about relaxation and never overpress. Okay. Good luck.